Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And today we're gonna to speak about a topic that I know a lot of you ask this question multiple times. And that is, what is the secret behind manifestation and getting it to work every single time? Now listen, this is something that every one of you who are trying to be a deliberate creator should be watching right now. If you wanna change your life and you're wondering what is the secret? What is, why is it things are working for other people and not for me? You landed on the right video today. I'm telling you, today we're gonna to talk about the law of assumption, Neville Goddard's law of assumption, and we're going to use this to manifest anything you want in life. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is a manifesting law of attraction metaphysical channel that gives you information that you can easily understand, put it into action, and get results. So now if you want to know what is the secret behind manifesting and how to use the law of attraction or the law of assumption, keep watching. I'm back everyone. Now what is it that I have to tell you about how to manifest anything using this technique that I'm talking about? And it is the law of assumption. Neville Goddard speaks about this often. And he speaks about whatever it is you see in life. It's a reflection of what's going on inside. It's a projection of what it is inside. Your life that you created. Now, you're probably saying, well, Yvette, isn't that something like the law of attraction? Yes, but basically, you cannot be successful with the law of attraction as a deliberate creator unless you know and master the law of assumption. Now, listen, everyone, this is a big piece that a lot of people are just not telling you. And if you want to know more, keep watching this video because basically if it's not working for you now, there's something that you're missing and most likely it's in this video. Now, what about the law of assumption and how can it help you manifest almost anything in your life? The law of assumption is basically acting as if you already have what it is that you want. And in fact, it's basically assuming that it's already done and you already have it. The thing is that you guys have to understand, your subconscious mind don't know the difference between what is real and what is fake. It just gives you what you're thinking of, what you believe about yourself. And that is the secret to manifesting anything. Now, how are we going to use the law of assumption to manifest anything in our lives? Now, there's three steps that I want you to master. And once you master these, believe me, you're going to be writing me saying, that, oh my God, it worked. Okay? So the first step is knowing exactly what it is that you want in life. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to get these people that's going to write me and say, well, Yvette, I want this and I want that and I want this and I want that. For this technique, I really want you to focus on one thing. What is it that you want right now? Some of you might use something very small and then work your way up. Other people might go for the big gusto right at that point. Whatever it is, I really need you to tune in and steer your ship in the direction of where it is you want to be, do, or have. So now, knowing what you want, you can be specific if you want to, okay? You can state a certain amount of money. You can state a house on a certain block, whatever it is. But I do ask you always to state and leave to the universe for something better. Why? Because God knows all. The universe knows all. And what you might think is good for you, the universe may have something better. So now, what are you going to do once you know what it is that you want. You're going to write it out. You're going to write it down, everyone. Now, listen, I always tell you guys, whatever it is you're trying to manifest in your life, you're going to write it out. Now, I'm going to give you a tip. When you write it out, I want you to include feelings. How would you feel if this was so? You're writing it out as if it is already done. And you're writing it out, including your five senses. Okay, if you want a house, thank you, God, for blessing me with the perfect house. I come in the door and I smell the food as my family is cooking as I come home from work. Whatever it is, you're including the smell of food in your new home. 
I need you to include as you're writing what it is, the senses that you would have if this was true. Now, number two, what you're going to do with this is I then want you to imagine, imagine that this is already so. So not only are you writing this out, which we call scripting, but you're including your senses in what you're writing. That is the secret. On top of that, you're going to read it and then you're going to imagine. Use your visualization techniques to see yourself being, doing, and having whatever it is that you want. Now, this is where it comes in and a lot of people do things a little different. You can do it in first person or third person. Sometimes it's best to do it both. Why? Because you need to see yourself being beautiful in your home, being handsome in your new car. You need to see yourself. And then I want you to take it into first person because I want you to get those senses in there and feel the handlebar and smell the new car scent and smile when your family come running up to your new car or in your new home. Now, what is the third step to this technique that is absolutely going to supercharge whatever it is that you're doing? That is the assumption that it is already done. The assumption that this is no longer a wish. This is something that is already done. And you know what, everyone? It is already done. Once you place this in your subconscious mind and take time every day to, to read it, to speak it, and to actually see it, it is already done. But you need to manifest it on the physical plane for you to see it in the physical form. So now, what are you going to do about that? You're going to assume it's already done, okay? Now, I'm not telling you not to take action. I'm telling you to get out, take action, go look for that house, knowing that the universe has already blessed you with it, saying it's already yours. Take action and go get it, okay? If you want that new car, start going to different dealers. The universe will place the right person at the right time on your path for you to get what you want. If it's not feeling right to you, let it go. Use your gut because the universe is going to make it work exactly the way it should be. So you're leaving it open for the universe to do its job. Now, one tip I want to give you guys when it comes down to the law of assumption and the law of attraction. Don't go doubting yourself, looking over your shoulder, writing me, saying, oh, we bet it didn't work. It never works for me. And it never will. Let go of that. Once you put this out in the universe and you state, this is what it is that I desire and it is already done. I see myself. I smell what I want. I taste what I want. I feel what I want. And this is what my reality is right now. And it's manifested on my physical plane right now. Whatever it is you're stating for yourself, it is done. What knocks you back is when you don't take action. What knocks you back when you put in that doubt or worry that it's not going to manifest? This is the secret to many people manifesting what they want. They step forward knowing it's already done. Even if they don't see it on the physical at this point, they already know inside, deep inside, that it's already done. They don't tell their business because they don't want these people, these naysayers, in injecting their negative thinking on their belief. Before you know it, they will be coming to you, asking you, what is the secret to manifesting? Because you already did it. So listen, everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. If you like this video and you want more tips on how to manifest and get what you want, listen, like, subscribe, and tap the bell, everyone. If you want to know more about my world of metaphysics or crystals and candles and sage, you guys know this is me. Look in the description. Everything is there. Last thing I want to tell you, if you want to know more, watch the next video. Go to my homepage. Look at my playlist. Everything you want to know about scripting, manifesting, um, affirmations, visualization, mirror work, prayer, it's all there. Again, this is Yvette. 